Hi friends, Sekhar once again. Today I will show you one of the Python project that I have created for web. So for that I have used micro framework Flask. So web and internet development there are multiple frameworks are available like Django, Flask. I use Flask. Installation of Flask is very easy. Either you can install directly like pip install minus u flask. If you are using Python 3 then you can use the pip 3 and same command. You can use virtual, uh, you can create a virtual environment and you can install it like uh, this is the command that will create the virtual environment then activate it and then install flask. So just now I have installed the flask. You can see that pip install flask and it will do all the things. Let me go to my app. So this is my app directory where I have created it. Let me show what I have developed it. Oh sorry, I have a Python 3. So I need to write Python 3. So here it will start the flask and this will be the URL for the flask. Automatically it creates with one port. So I have coded like it automatically start one browser for me. So it's a password management system. I need to give the password so it will authenticate it. Authentication is happening from my SQLite database. The previous video I have explained about the SQLite database. So if you have not seen my previous video, I requested you to please go through it. It will give you better understanding about saving data and all. This is my search, add and db restore. So I can search like uh, any word and tap it or enter it. It will give all the data like Amazon, if it is password. So it will by default, it will be on a black so nobody can see it. If you hover it, then you can see the password. You can copy it. Okay. Yeah, I am giving any other word. It will search it. Just tap it or enter it. Uh, if I am not giving anything blank, then all the data. Obviously, the password is not right because I am just showing as for the demo purpose. Here, log out, so it will log out from my session. So if I wanted to add anything, example, uh, like uh, YouTube 2, okay, and example YouTube something you or XYZ, then it will say inserted data. If I can, uh, I can go there, you can see that YouTube 2 and whatever the password we have given it. For edit, uh, ID is mandatory that I have given so if I write the number and just tab or hit enter then it will show like okay what are the for that ID the iframe is also created I can see that same that search so for uh, if I forget somehow the ID what is the ID for that I wanted to create it or example like the two so it will automatically change the thing add it and suppose my username is different example sicker and just submit so it will update successfully and example like if I, if I created a tube 2 and I wanted to delete it I can delete it from here so if I search it now you can see like YouTube is not available adding uh, it's already done edit okay so here you can see that data is there I can copy it if I log out it will log out and it will ask for the password okay so if I enter the same URL the data it will automatically go to the index page because I logged out. Once again, I need to log out. Uh, this is I have created. Suppose uh, some uh, accidentally you have deleted the file or updated it, and you have already taken a backup of your DB file, then I can restore it. So I can browse it. Here is my old data. I can restore it. So you can see the restore completed. So all the data has been restored that is uh, previously it was restored. That was the development I have created it using Flask and story. I'm storing the data in SQLite database. Thank you friends.